Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Good to have y'all out here. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? Lovely to see y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Good to have you. It's it's another Wednesday stream. It's another lovely Wednesday. I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be a good one. We got some cool projects to work on today. Hey, for real. But can't stay long. That's all right. Everyone like the stream. Hey, Bellatrix, thank you for the dono and no worries. I appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody leave a like on the stream. Thank you for the dono. I do appreciate that again. And all that, all that stuff. Gray, boring. I mean, it's just a solid, just decent gray shirt. It's not special. It just is what it is. It's fine. But all right, all right, all right. It's cool. It's cool. Show us the sign. Yes, uh, keen eye viewers, you've noticed. whoop I need to put it up on the wall still. I need to mount it. It's going to sit. It's going to sit kind of in that gap 
but just up higher on the wall and I might move it over this way and like flip the pickaxe to that side so it's actually in camera view. But I haven't figured that out yet and now my camera's all wonky. So we'll see. I don't know. That's, I got it. Yeah, it finally came in yesterday. It, it got, it, honestly, it came so fast. I was not expecting it to be here already. So that was really, really cool. Uh, Wisteria Witch, thank you so much for the three months as a supporter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All hail our flippy god. Hey, I'm never, I never claimed to be a god. That's all on you. Uh, and also Regs, thank you so much for gifting a membership to yourself earlier in stream. And then thank you for gifting a membership to somebody else. I missed who it went to, but I appreciate the two gift memberships. I did see one of those. This is the first time I've ever seen it of somebody gifted a membership, in this case, Regs gifted a membership and then they themselves received the membership that they gifted that's a first that's that's didn't mean to i think it's hilarious i love that i think it's so funny uh i might i i might bring that up with my youtube nice rep to just because i don't know if that's supposed to happen but maybe <laughs> so uh is what it is i think it's so funny uh, <laughs> but hey, I appreciate the support nonetheless. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thought that was funny. I had to share that on stream. Scribbly Dibbly, thank you so much for the eight months at tier two, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember to leave a like and drink some water. Cheers to that. Just YouTube being YouTube. How do you receive your own gift? Hey, you know, sometimes if you just need to like gift wrap something and then give it to yourself and get the serotonin boost of unwrapping something, could be kind of worth it. Or you wrap a gift for yourself, put it in the closet, forget about it, find it a few months later with a little gift tag on it says to you. I don't know, you might just be like, oh my gosh, wow, who got me this? I don't remember. And then you open it and be like, wow, I could get it for myself. I'm so cool. I was like, I've ever done that, but like, you can do it if you want to. Just like, you can leave a like on the stream. <laughs> Teach me how to terraform. We'll be doing a little bit of terraforming stuff today. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be good. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited. I We're kind of starting a new chapter today on live streams. I think I've mentioned it. Well, honestly, just in videos in general. <laughs> me crying while unwrapping my bills. Just like, why did Pass me leave this for now? <laughs> True, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, same. Um, but I I think I mentioned on stream before of I kind of consider each year of the hardcore world to be a phase in the world. Year one was really like getting established and getting to the point where we can really survive in the hardcore world. Year two was really about building up the societies of the world of we really established the main capital city of Path. We did a lot of work there. We started a new papyrus. We connected up two different civilizations in the year and we did a lot of stuff. We built a lot of little extra villages. We did a lot of like things about building up the societies of the world. Granted, that's going to keep expanding and existing and everything like that. But what I want to focus this year on is building the world. And I think I've mentioned it before. But what I mean by that is I want to do some massive terraforming projects and get throughout like the entire spawn region around there and really just transform those landscapes that I've just kind of been like, eh, I don't want to build there yet because I want to do something with it before I build on it, but I don't quite know what yet. So we're going to be doing that this year and I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, that's kind of like my theme for the year. We're going to still be building other things. It's not only going to be terraforming and everything, but I think that's kind of the theme that I want to start tackling and moving forward with is just like a massive by the end of this year, I want to be able to look to back on it and be like, yeah, we transformed this whole like multi thousand block region and turn it into just something really cool. So I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be really cool. And that's kind of the general theme of where it's going to go. Uh, and we're going to start on that a little bit today before we actually get into the hardcore world. I do need to build a tree. I need to make some custom oak trees for a project I'm working on. Uh, and so I figured we'd do one on stream today because a lot of people have been asking me how to build trees. So we could, we can start that today and see where that lands and all that cool stuff. And then we'll jump into the hardcore world and I want to do some terraforming around the riverbeds of the town, the original town. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah. 
Rebus, thank you so much for the 17 months. Thank you, as always, for fun midday streams. I'm working from home sick today, and you streaming is definitely a highlight. Hey, hope you feel better soon, my friend. Thank you so much for all the support. Jason Ludwig, thank you so much for the 14 months. That's like super fan, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much. I've been watching you for a long time now, and I really love your videos and builds. Why don't you wait, use sh oh shaders in your videos, though? Uh, not everybody can use shaders in Minecraft. Uh, shaders are only for Java players. So if you're using shaders as a YouTuber, you're alienating a massive portion of your audience uh, because people want to see a game that looks like the game that they're playing. So I don't use shaders because it can look like everybody's game that they're playing. Um, and also, I, I think shaders are a crutch when it comes to building. I think it's totally fine to use shaders if you want to use shaders. But I also do think that shaders can be so strong that they make terrible builds look good. And if you turn off the shaders and it's like, oh my gosh, this is awful. But if you can make something that looks good without shaders on, and then you turn on shaders and it's like, oh wow, this is even cooler. It's like a really extra wow pop thing, which is why I use them in the little cinematic shots. Um, but yeah, I find, I find shaders to be, uh, especially like <laughs> all the tutorial, like Minecraft tutorial channels that they, use shaders when recording a tutorial on how to build a really cool looking house i'm like turn the shaders off this looks terrible this just it, yeah yeah no so uh yeah that's kind of why i don't uh i keep missing your lives but i was able to make it today kai opal welcome on in i'm provide for videos without shaders even though i play java it's hard to really appreciate the build and see the blocks yeah the god rays and shaders are too strong and the darks and shaders are way too strong um so yeah it's 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 rough okay may cosplay my boyfriend wants to bet me that i can't do a hardcore world what is he betting me he buys dinner at every date is does this last as long as you are alive in the hardcore world because you could really benefit off of a lot of free dinners from that i think that's a solid bet to take if you can survive i think that's good <laughs> But it, you, I would say you have to set a requirement on how actively you're playing the world for the bet. Like, you gotta have some criteria of that. Like, you can't just open the world and be like, I haven't died in it yet. I also haven't logged in in three weeks, but I'm still alive. <laughs> so, yeah. Why do you taunt me with the fishing with whip thumbnail? For some reason, people love thumbnails of me sitting in a boat for live streams. <laughs> it's a constant trend. People just love my character sitting in a boat when it comes to the live streams. Oh, I play daily? Oh, even, there you go. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I saw uh, Recrap. He gave me a shout out in one of his videos this morning that he did. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I saw, a bunch of people came over to my comments and were like, you got, you got, you got spot, not, uh, you got shouted out in one of his videos. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I went to check it out. I've seen some of his stuff in the past. Isn't he the first one who did like all of the armor trim stuff? His style of hardcore video or videos in general are way different than mine, but I'm like, all right, pop off, go for it, get it. It's cool seeing like how many different categories of Minecraft content can succeed. So I always like that. It's always fun being able to look around and see kind of different people succeeding in it. Alrighty, uh, let me, sorry, I logged into the super flat world and I am right next to some stuff that I don't want to be showing. Okay, we can jump in now. No, nope. why are you doing this? We don't want that. We want this. Okay, much better. Where's all my trees? There's my trees. It's been a while. This is my super flat testing world where I do a lot of test concepts for different builds and things. Welcome. Oh, jeez, that's not. Sorry, flashbang. Flashbang warning. Greg <laughs> makes videos that make you happy and just feel chill. Yeah, I liked how. Honestly, I was watching his, the one that he uh, gave me a shout out in this morning and I was like, dude's just like recording this as a vlog. Like he's not over the top thinking about like how to structure everything. Maybe his second channel is more chill than his main. But I was like, I was like, there's a lot of things to learn from this. Like this is just a vlog of like, yeah. So I decided I wanted to try this and we'll see how it works out. So um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. What are the modern buildings? These are from Legacy SMP Season 1, if anybody remembers those. That was my nether portal. That was my storage room. This was my tree farm. That was, I think I had two tall flower farms in there. 
that was, uh, I think I just was using those like lighting beacons throughout the place. Or no, this was above the sheep farm. And I think it had a too tall flower farm in it. So I had the wool coming up through here and going in and then all just getting sorted inside. Um, this was my bed. I, I My storage room was a garage. So I gave myself a bed in a semi truck. And then I also built some cool little like speed racer little cars. And then this was my this was my wither rose shop that I built. Uh, so, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if the interior is in here on this one. Oh, it is. Yeah. So this was the interior that had an open wall in there that I open up later. Yeah, that's how I did the storage room for it. But um, I ended up turning. I think I turned the tower of this. I think I turned it into a farm, didn't I? I don't know I'm, if, whoever is still watching in there. I think I turned that into a mob farm. Like, I think... Or no, I turned it into a sugarcane farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it is in here. I turned this into a sugarcane farm. But then I also had a mob farm nearby that I somehow routed the drops to come inside this for from a creeper farm. So the gunpowder and the sugarcane was ending up in the same place. You're the best streamer I know. Thanks, Sarah. Do you make your trees when you're bored? Uh, I was trying to do a tree a day for most of December, and then I was getting a little... I was, kept getting too busy to continue doing it. But anyways, I'm working on building some oak trees right now. I've got this oak tree right over here. We've got this oak tree right over here that's on a little bit of an angle. This is all we also have this one. So I have three currently, but I wanted to build another and the kind of the palette I'm using for these is oak wood, oak logs, uh, mud brick walls, spruce, spruce fence gates and oak leaves. That's kind of the whole gist of all of it. And then there's also if I want them some brown stained glass panes in there because we can use those to kind of just cause that little pop out. And then from far away, you don't really see the glass. So it's kind of a little fun thing that we can throw in. Um, yeah, so I need a few of these, just different ones for a project I'm doing right now. So why are you not more streaming on Twitch? Uh, I haven't streamed on Twitch in two, over two years now, do do so. I might go back, Not, I mean, not go back, but I might start streaming there and multi-streaming, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, I haven't really decided yet how I want to do it. Okay, so I would love for this tree to be a little bit shorter, to be honest, because these are, like, those two are the exact same height, and that guy's, like, two blocks shorter. So, I think we want that one that's going to be, like, up to here. And it's okay if he's just going straight up. He's fine. So, we can do something like this. And maybe we do another little one right there. Uh, and then we need to just start building out some branches. I really like using walls because they're a little thicker. I know the color kind of stands out a little bit, but I absolutely love the look of mud brick walls uh, just because you get that extra thickness. And then the way you can connect into your spruce fences is you have to throw a fence gate in so they can get a little expensive. Almost looks like a city park. Yeah, out here. There's a ton of trees. I, I really am happy that I spent all the time doing these. Uh, we can do something like this. The first step is getting a good network of branches coming together. If we can get branches that look good. Uh, and just like being here and doing their own thing. Then the tree, the chance of the tree looking good is a lot better. So I'm thinking we can do something like this. Um, maybe this guy comes out over here like that and I want to get another branch that's going to kind of come up that way or maybe this tree could kind of be le a little leaning so it's the high point isn't in the middle it's like over here more so that could be kind of fun um let's do this and boop boop I have no plans for how this is going to turn out in the end so uh bear with me as we figure it out we'll get into the hardcore world here real soon but I just kind of want to do this to get started so I, I, a lot of people have been asking recently for me to do a tree building stream, so I figured we would uh, hit hit that a little bit here. Uh, we can no, I don't want that to be so thick. Um, but like this right here, we could do a little pop out on that, so it just looks so it's not just like a flat line. Um, mm, 
<laughs> it's kind of fine. This is. Yeah, maybe we do this. Something in there. That'll that'll give us a little bit more bushy action down below, uh, and then we need to bring ourselves up over here. That could work. Uh, I don't. You know you remember, but like two months ago, I was in a stream. I said I was working on a Mega Base video, and it's almost done. Cool pickle, nice dude. Are you a really old pickle now, or are you just still like just an old pickle? But congrats, cool work, good job, good job. My friends, if you have not already, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a ton, uh, and it helps bring a lot more people in here. So during live streams and things are, I really, really do appreciate everybody taking the two seconds to do that for me. It, I, it is, it's a very, it's a very big one for helping your local YouTuber out. Okay, I feel like that's a decent network of branches. I'm not super excited about that being so like, just in a line. So maybe we can just do this to break it up. It's also a different height, so it's okay. Um, and then from here, what I like to do, just to get started, we'll come back in and mess them up more. But we take the outside line of all of our fences and the top, and we just kind of cover them. So we do this. We'll come back in and add some extra fluff, but this helps me just get an idea of the shape of everything in here. Tip, if you want Flip to see your comment, instead of spamming, try to comment while Flip isn't building. True, true. It's That's the pro play. That's that's the pro play. Nah, it's more so if I see your name moving a bunch. Like if I see people's name in their bunch and the message just looks to be about the same size, I kind of tend to tune it out. Like I, I, I'm constantly glancing at chat as I'm doing things. But uh, if if I see a message that's about the same size from the same person, and I just saw that right before without even reading it, just like the blob is the same size, I'm like, all right, they just copy pasted it. And it's not worth it. Um, can you please show us all the types of trees you build for inspiration? Um, I've uh, we can take a look at them afterwards. I want to get some in here. I'm really excited about using these ones soon. I'm ki I'm kind of calling them like warm pine trees. Because I used acacia leaves in here instead of like a spruce. So it's like it'd be the same shape as a spruce tree, but it's the acacia. So they look a lot warmer. They have like a little bit of like an orangey tint to them. Or make super chat. There's that. That is a surefire way. That's 100%. Yeah. Okay. So we get something like this. Obviously, it's okay. <laughs> it's not great. It, 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 Still a work in progress. It's a flip. Um, you can fill in the F for whatever you want it to be there. Now we can start coming around and bringing these leaves down a touch. I really want them to remain airy so you can still kind of see through the tree as you're looking up. Like seeing that little glimpse into the sky there, very important to me. I don't want to just see like bunches of leaves like through here you can still see little glimpses where you can kind of get pockets of air through it and i think that's really important when it comes to building trees uh also we can do a little bit like this down here at the base and like that let's do one here i'm actually gonna break that guy out and then let's do this. And I don't really like how this creates like a weird shape like that. So we can kind of break it up with another one right in there. This we want to I, I really like using these, like a shape where it's one like this, this weird little bit bit there, and then also these like little L's, little triangle type things. I think those like the you work in just like weird shapes that you'll see, then you mash them on top of each other. That works really well. Have you ever made a willow tree? I've tried in the past. Willow trees are one of those trees in Minecraft that I just don't think fit Minecraft super well. I've yet to see anybody build a willow tree that I'm like, wow, that thing's amazing. It's more of like, yeah, I guess it looks like a willow. Um, 
I think the IRL leaf structure is just hard to copy into Minecraft without you just creating a blob. I also try really hard to avoid like three diagonals like this. So that here, we're gonna just do this instead. And then maybe that guy can come. Kind of starting to get there. We're getting a little bit more shape into it. Uh, I also do tend to leave the middle of the tree pretty hollow because if you look at trees IRL, they shed their leaves in the middle as they're not getting as much light. So they're not in there as much. How'd you become such an awesome builder? Uh, I've been doing this for a handful of years. <laughs> I was not a great builder when I started playing Minecraft. If you go back and look at my old building with whip videos or like the old original like videos that I published, like the builds are okay, but they're, they were not anywhere near the level that we're at now. So Minecraft is definitely one of those games where if you want to be a better builder, the easiest way to do it is just to put time just spend the time figure out how to study other people's builds and you, you'll find that you'll you'll grow pretty quickly copying builds is not studying builds it's two very different things there's a way to copy a build and study it but they're not they're not the same thing by default so All right, so we can kind of get something like this. I'm okay with trees looking a little weird. A lot of people see Minecraft trees and they're like, oh, this thing has to be perfect. Otherwise I'm not doing it. Uh, and there is no perfect tree. I think that's also something very important that a lot of people don't really think about is um, they're like, I'm trying to build a tree and it doesn't, it doesn't tree. I'm like, well, there's no perfect tree in the world. <laughs> like every tree that grows IRL just looks it kind of turns into a little bit of a mess i uh, just they, they fit where they fit they grow in the direction that they're trying to grow in and that that's the way it goes yeah there is no i mean every tree irl is pretty much perfect because it's its own thing but in the human version of perfect no that doesn't exist so i, I think there's a diff there's a big difference there i also kind of want to add like one leaf here just coming down I'm trying to practice to not have leaves so close to the ground. So maybe we don't do that. Uh, and maybe instead we break that. So it, that kind of gives it that same look of a few hangers. Little, little hanging leaves. And we can have one over there. I keep looking at it only from this angle. Um, which is not my favorite, but we're doing it. that that's okay uh over here we definitely that yeah that backside needs some love for sure um this however maybe we just like toss one in right there no because that kind of creates that weird diagonal hey, there so, no hey flip very happy you're streaming today i really needed something to zone into and not think about what's happening in my life oh scarlet moon i hope everything's going okay or at least that the storm's passing soon you're more than welcome to hang here and uh chill and relax and do all that stuff and hopefully this is a good little break from whatever else you got going on thank you for the dono and uh keep on trucking you got it okay so we're in here this is kind of weird and wonky because that like it's fully open like there's just a missing section of the tree and that's okay that's this is fine but i think what i'm gonna do here instead of just extending bushes around I think a good way to fix these problems is to add a new branch. And that's still a little too high. So maybe we get rid of that guy. And then we come in here and we can kind of just like open this up. And that fixes it. Like that that in itself right there. We don't have to do anything beyond that really. <laughs> so we're good. Maybe we close that in. That adds that feeling that we needed, and it gives it something to structure off of. I don't like leaves sticking too far away from the tree that they're on. Um, and this is, I think this is okay. I, I actually kind of like this tree. What do we think in chat? 
Closing in on 1,000 subs? You are? Just keep trucking. If you're getting into 1,000, you're doing something, right? Are you going to post any videos soon? Uh, no, I actually don't have any video. I have a short coming out tomorrow, but I don't have any videos coming out this week. And no, that does not mean there's a secret video launching on Saturday. It's not, no. As much as I love trolling the people on Twitter right now that are all thinking I'm joining Hermitcraft, I'm not joining. <laughs> I am not joining. There is no, this is not even me trolling you all. Like this, this is for the, this is for the fans that are in here that are the stream, like the, the crew, like the, the consistent stream crew. Um, but for the fan, the people that are loose fans over on Twitter that are following me and I am just messing with them so much. Yeah. Hermitcraft announced that they're launching their new season on Saturday, which means for us non Hermitcraft Minecraft YouTubers, we don't post this weekend. We do not post within five or six days of a Hermitcraft season launching. Otherwise your video will die for any uh, YouTubers out there that are lurking in here watching. Uh, with Hermitcraft hosting, don't post your video this weekend. Don't waste it. You've worked hard on your video and it will die if you post it this weekend. So don't do it. Number of times you've been asked about Hermitcraft. I woke up today with them po because all the Hermits posted this morning that they're launching their new series this weekend. I woke up to 77 Twitter mentions. 77 people i mean i i appreciate the love don't get me wrong i i i'm so happy that people are like oh i want to see flip in in here too like that that would be great like that's really nice of people to post that that's fantastic um but yeah i woke up to 77 mentions on twitter today <laughs> all people asking me if i'm joining this weekend i can tell you i do know who the new members are i'm not telling Yeah, I had 77 mentions. Yeah, it was a little nuts. It's a little nuts. But no, yeah, I'm not I I I know who they are and I'm not telling y'all. And don't ask me. Maybe you could join a new life series? Yeah, we'll see. I feel like there's a lot more casual. I tried joining the last few and I kept getting no's for different reasons, so I'm kind of at this point like, all right, they've said they've said no to me joining the last few seasons. And I, I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to ask anymore. But if they invite me and say, hey, do you want to join? I'll, I'll join. But I'm kind of tired of asking to try and join and them be and me getting a different reason every single season as to why I can't join. So I am just like, OK, all right, I'm, I'm just done. <laughs> like every single one of my best friends on YouTube is in the series and I keep getting random reasons why I can't. So I was like, all right, whatever. Okay, I think this is pretty good. It's one of those things where there's always going to be something that you want to be a part of as a content creator. And sometimes they just don't work out. And that's okay. Like, that's fine. That's just part of the gig is there's always something going on. Um, and so I'm just kind of like, I'm at a point where I'm like, all right, if I get invited, I'd love to be there. I'm going to keep trying to do things with friends and keep making things happen. But I'm not going to waste energy over trying to get into something that is not working. I'm not going to share the reasons why. I, I don't want to get into it too much. It's nothing bad, though. It's not like they're like, ooh, we hate you. Uh, it was just different logistical reasons each season. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you able to tell me if I'm subscribed? If not, I was subscribed because your content's awesome. If the subscribe button is says subscribe, then you have not subscribed. If it says unsubscribe, then you have subscribed. Uh, okay, be careful with the little self promo -y stuff there. Cool to see the growth, but be careful as that can come off very quickly as self promo. Uh, let's get a stick. No, that's I need a, I need a stick. We're going to jump into the hardcore world in just a moment, my friends. So for those of you who are like, can he play hardcore already? That's what I'm here for. We're getting there. 
Uh, also, if you have not, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. I very much do appreciate it. Thank you. We got nine. We got a thousand people in here. We just hit a thousand viewers and we got 600 likes. I, I believe we can get there. Where did I put that? Up? Okay, I missed the ball. I was like, where did my little marker go? All right. Uh, yes to the person asking earlier. I do use Lightmatica for trees because how am I going to remember how to, the heck to build this thing? So uh, the way that I do it is I have a tree. I have tree underscore blah, 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 blah. So this is going to be oak. I think this is gonna be oak medium four. Okay. Three, oak, medium, four. Set, save. Cool. Light Matica. Oh, just don't give me, don't give me the, hmm. Do you think Light Matica is cheating? You, you're, you're, uh, you're probably, uh, I don't know. You're just five years behind the time. I'm telling you now, every single hardcore Minecraft YouTuber that you watch uses Lightmatica. Uh, L-I-T-E, not L-I-G-H-T, uh, Lady Katza. Like light, like in very, very light. I never understand why people are so uppity about using Lightmatica or not. Like, I just, I don't get that. It's a tool. The difference between people who use Lightmatica and don't use Lightmatica, if you want to know the real difference is, is if you're not using Lightmatica, what you do is you run around like this. And you're like, screenshot, 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 screenshot. Okay, side monitor. Let's do one up here. We're going to do one over there. We're going to do one here and we're going to do one here. Okay, cool. I got the four angles. That is the difference. That is the only difference between using Lightmatica and not using Lightmatica. You can copy and paste with it, but you can only do that in creative. If you're using it legitimately in survival, you cannot do that. Oh, that's my old one. I was like, wow, I don't like how I did that right there. No, I just made that tree. This is my old tree. <laughs> that looks fine. I like that. That's okay. Maybe I would have done something like that, but that's okay. That's fine. I know Joel uses it and loves it. Oh, yeah. I don't use it for every build because I will just wing it on some of them. But yeah, for the person who was asking about which trees I have, this one here is kind of a wonky one. It's dark oak leaves with prismarine walls in the middle. It's kind of like a cypress tree, but a little like darker green. And this is kind of like just an oak leaf version with andesite leaves, like a skinnier pine of sorts. Um, I call these lollipop trees. I don't know what they represent, but I love them. There's alio leaves with spruce. Um, I use these guys over in the desert a little bit just for, I can't remember what it was trying to be. Somebody sent me a picture of something. They're like, you could try including this. And so I tried making some of them. Now we have our classic palm trees. We built a few hundred of these over in the desert. Uh, these are all kind of just different little skinny little stick trees. Right over here, this is like, uh, something you'd find in like Africa or something like that, I guess. Um, I, I really want to find a place to use these. These are kind of in Minecraft. Like I'm envisioning these in a savanna biome. Um, this is, we've built these a few more. I think I call them alders. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but two different versions of those. This one I saw somebody make in a picture I saw. And so I made my own version of it. I haven't found a use for it yet, but I just really love the tree. It was like a Southeast Asian build. That somebody did and so i was like "Ooh, i love that tree i'm gonna try and make one my my own um yeah more of those little stick trees here's like a pointy birch tree a lot of little pointy birch trees we got under our oaks right there then we have our like fall yellow leaf birch tree then we have the same of that just with actual birch leaves on it then we have like a big cypress tree here uh we got our little skinny birches which i love We've got an orange version of the smaller of the skinny birches. We have another birch back here. Then we get all the oaks that we have in this point. This is like another fall variant of, I think it's that oak tree, just a fall version. And then we have these guys. I don't really know what they are, but I like them. I actually really like them. They're mud and blackstone. Very weird, or sorry, cherry log and blackstone. Yeah, not mud. I changed it to cherry. Uh, we got two of those. We got this big dripstone trunk tree that I don't really know what it is, but it's jungle leaves and acacia leaves in the top. And we got our sprucey boys back here. These are the ones I used around the pillager castle to kind of make the castle seem even larger. Really love those. And these are those warm pine trees that I was talking about a while ago. It's acacia log for the trunk, mossy cobble, and warped fences. 
and then Acacia leaves. And it is a weird combo, but I really love it. I think it's cool. Light Matica cries in Bedrock, yeah. It's okay. If you cry too much in Bedrock, you'll die from fall damage. So be careful. Okay, welcome to the hardcore world. Wee! We got stuff to do. We got things to make people to see. I'm just kidding, it's single player world. If you didn't know, yesterday was the Wandering Trader's birthday. Learned that from Mog Swamp. Wandering Trader's been in the game for five years now. Yeah, that's where the thumbnail was. Wow, and the sun's still dropping. Amazing. Look at the valley. Look at it. Look at the valley. I forgot. Hi, Sniffers. Stop playing Bedrock. Easy fix. Yeah. Just throw your iPad into the wall. And go up to your parents and demand, I want a desktop computer. Don't do that. That's not real advice. Don't listen to Flip on that topic. You should only listen to him on leaving a like on the stream because we have a thousand sixty people in here. We're almost seven hundred likes though. Okay, I believe I have leftover stuff from a little landscaping adventure I was doing. Yes, we've got a uh, yeah, we got some stuff in here. This world tree looks amazing now with added leaves. Yeah, I <laughs> that view right there is just beautiful especially because it includes mythical sausage's death balloon from him dying in his hardcore world <laughs> i'm just waiting for him to die in his new hardcore world and i'm just gonna add another balloon next to it and just like post it on twitter <laughs> he's gonna be so mad it'll be great it'll happen eventually okay so step one here i want to kind of the the first starting point today is i would like to fix up this section here and turn it into something just a little bit more i don't know polished of a river edge so we're gonna work on that step one is we're gonna just get rid of all of the sand sorry sand different different mod different mod and then we'll kind of shape. We can turn this hey, into a rock. I think Lock a rock the there could be good. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you for the dono. And thank you for the very important message. It is a very important message to be sharing. So thank you. Thank you for taking it upon yourself to do it. Also, apparently you can like comments now. When did this get rolled out to YouTube? I'm seeing so many people just like liking or not liking comments, but liking donations. Like I'm just seeing little like thumbs ups appearing next to the donation. <laughs> when the heck did that happen? Is that a dolphin? No, that was a salmon. Better than a dolphin. Whip casually flexing his hardcore survival skills. I mean, we are 6,052 days in this world. So, if anything is allowed to be flexed, I feel like it's also very much earned, you know? I'm not flexing anything that I've faked. I'm not over here like, I've done all this stuff, and then when I haven't done it, like, I've done the stuff. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, jeez. Dang it. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Yeah, we're going to do something like this. Timmy, thank you so much for becoming a tier two member, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much. just dirt dirt do i have not much right okay well we can get some more i definitely have some somewhere okay so we're gonna kind of cover this now it's gonna be to there 
that's gonna be to kind of here and we're gonna do a little like a whoop and then we're just gonna I guess that's all water down there so that's okay and it'll sound like running water when we're going by oh it'd be so nice because I will definitely walk by here so much So much walking by will happen in this space, for sure, 100%, no lie. You're welcome, Flip. You have changed my view on this game called Minecraft for the positive, that is. Hey, awesome, dude. Blocky game is a pretty fun game. Soul Soil is one of the coolest blocks I'm trying to use up more. I really like so soil. I, I think it's really fun. I wish there was a way to disable the move speed off of having soul speed on your boots, but it's okay. I can handle. I can be I can be a adult about it, I guess. If I have to. Tuna! Thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. Uh, Lady Katza, thank you so much for the dono. I'll let the, I'll let the bot read that one out when it gets there, when it catches up. Okay, and then let's get rid of this down here at the base. I just like to cover up the sand. I think the sand event... Oh, we only have 12 mud left. <laughs> I think the sand just, like, pops too much, you know? Also, Minecraft is so weird about how rivers are just so deep. They're just, they're just like, and we go down. Like, I don't know if a river would naturally be, you know, down to here. Ignore the fact that I never brought those all the way down to the ground. Sorry. Um, you saw nothing. Hey, for real. What kind of mountain slash hill slash terrain would you build in Badlands to cover up a big farm? Well, in the Badlands, you have the plateau already. So you could do something like that because you can get a lot of um, terracottas and things just by digging it out. So you could go that route. That's kind of the alley you're thinking. Um, I would personally, like if I were to do like a big Badlands transformation, I think I would try and make something a lot more lush on top. So like moss on top. But I do like the Badlands that they have the terracotta in there. So I'd probably try and like keep that in it somehow. I think that's that's the vibe I would go for though, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I've always wanted to do a terraforming project that uses the striped colors that you get in like the Badland Hills with all the terracottas up there. So I think I would definitely go that route to see what I could find off of that. Moss on top. Yeah, I think moss on top, if you want to make it look like really lush and really cool and you can make like a fun oasis up there. I don't know why my brain's going instantly back to the Holes movie uh, when they're up there and they find the onions and they're like, oh my God, we can eat food. So I grew up by a river that was maybe the deepest part 15 feet. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up, I've been on many rivers in my life and I've never seen one this deep. <laughs> Okay, um, let's use this last single bit of mud just to get that in. And I like this. I think that'll work out well. And my plan is to kind of riverbed here. So we're gonna have a lot of like foliage and bushes and stuff, similar to how we did it kind of down there. Apparently I need to go find some bamboo. Uh, so let's go get some bamboo before I forget. Because if we've used that before, oh, and then we also need string to make it capped off. Many rivers like the Ohio are really deep. Yeah, I guess that's true. I've been on the Colorado or the Columbia River many, many times, and that is a very deep river. That thing is massive. So I guess some rivers can. I guess Minecraft is going for those. I want to cover up that cave with a rock, so I don't think it's going to be exposed. Why did I fly here? I don't need to come here. I need to go. Mountain rivers are small but deep, yeah. Farmer, foyap. Always and forever. 
Also, this broke again. It broke it right there. Must have logged off when it was running. Looking, looking at the Columbia River right now, like in person. I'm jealous. I want to go back to the Columbia soon. It's just beautiful there. What I really want to do is go to the Gorge for a concert. I'm so excited that summer concert season is, like, starting to be announced. Oh, I'm going to go to so many this summer. It's going to be great. Okay, let's put our grass back in here, and we can put our sand back in here because we don't need it. And we can bring all of these out because these are the textures I'm using for rocks around. And I definitely need to go get smoke leaves. Just a few. Would I join Hermitcraft if they asked me? I don't know. It, it'd have to be a big think. It's not just like a simple like, yeah. Because if I did that, I would have to abandon so many other things that I do. And I don't think I'm quite in a position where I'd be able to freely just be like, okay. So I, I know like a lot of like <laughs> up and coming people are like, yeah, I'd be there. Like, that's my goal. Like my goal is to get there. But after you get like so established and like I, this series has been running for two and a half years and I love this series. And I think if I join Hermitcraft, like I'd have to cancel this. Like I, this series would be something that uploads maybe once a month. Cause that would be so much, like a lot of things out there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It'd, it'd be a big thinking session. I, I'll, I'll give you that. It'd be a big thinking session of if I want to do it or not. I want to sit down, my legs are tired. Beat this world. Yeah, like, I, I think it's one of those where you look at, like, what B-Dubs does with... He has his building with B-Dub series, and then you have Etho with his Etho plays Minecraft. And, like, when Hermitcraft is, like, really in full swing, those dudes just don't really have time to do those series. And that would be something for me that I think I would really have a hard time with, of being just, like, not being able to do them. Like, that sounds awful. Okay, we're going to come down here and um, work on a bit of a rock. Once we get a rock in. Pleased to meet you. Teach of Side, thank you so much for the five months. And we got Otzi with the 17 months of tier two. Pleased to meet you. Uh, teacher size said, another one. I want to stop by today and tell everybody to leave a like. I'm sure I'll watch this back later. Love your streams. Keep it up. Hey, thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. And Otzi says, what's up? What's up? I uh, hope everybody is having a great day. And remember to toss a like to your flipper. Of course. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we do this, then we kind of round the rock coming out this way. We'll do a little texturing in a moment too. We got zombie proof because we don't need any grumble grumbles coming from the train. Pleased to meet you. And then that kind of makes this a little bit nicer up here too. Woohoo! Pleased to meet you. So now it's already at starting start it. I'm hyped whether you feel like drawing Hermitcraft one day or not. I'll be happy to watch all your videos. Yeah. Who knows? I think like joining there would be, be me like entering my retirement, which is weird to say because like that's such an active server. But I think like the perk of being on there is one, you get to interact with some really cool people. Like that that's definitely a perk. Like I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Um, so I mean like Scar and B-dubs are the two that really made me love building in this game so it'd be cool to do something with them but i think like the big perk is that it has such like a core audience behind it that you can more or less get away with uploading whatever you want and like you're gonna you're gonna get views which as a content creator 
removes so much of the stress that comes with being a creator of um just like thinking that randomly one day there's just gonna be a shift in the meta and you're no longer gonna be getting the same level of views that you are now so like that's like the big draw to be on something like that but i i've always kind of been on the idea of like i'd almost rather like make my own version of it which is what we tried doing with empires um but I just don't think there's really a market right now for something like that to have a competitor. Also, Empires, I think, being so much more story-driven made it a lot harder to uh, just get that, oh man, get that like general, just crazy audience behind it. But also, Hermitcraft fans are like generally older. Their average fan, like super fan, is a lot older than your stereotypical Minecraft audience. I personally like that Empires was more story driven. Yeah, it definitely was something that appealed to a niche audience. Uh, like a, just a generally smaller audience. But it also became something that was incredibly difficult. And this is something that we learned after the fact. Empires was incredibly difficult to join in partway through a series like we were hemorrhaging viewers constantly like there was no returning or growth off of viewers throughout an, an empire season and that's just that's just like the nature of being their story driven and the content being published constantly like unless people get in there from the get-go like they're not really joining back in stream crash when i became a member Skazo, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. And Tyler, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I do appreciate it for both of y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is Empire Stun for good? Um, I don't know. I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> I can. What I will say is if Empire comes back, it's not going to be in the form that it was then. What is your audience age? My average audience is like 20 to 24. Yeah, my, my average audience is a little on the older side compared to like when you think of a Minecrafter, like not many people think of people in their 20s, but in reality, like that's a Minecrafter nowadays. Like a lot of people who play like, like most Minecrafters, at least for the info that I can find on YouTube about it, pretty much people in their 20s like it's a lot of college students <laughs> pleased to meet you which is great like I'm, that's not a bad thing at all it's just it's funny because it's definitely not what i would have expected personally oh wait if there's water back here i can't i love doing that Yeah, please don't state your age in chat too much. I know, I, I know, I brought it up. That's that's a me thing. That's a me thing. I I apologize. Uh, YouTube is pretty strict on their terms of service about it, and it falls on the creators to regulate it a lot of the times, which is a little, a little dumb. So uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we're going through right now. We're just adding in the little bits of like fluff throughout just a few little decorations here and there and this stuff will all kind of just grow in as it as it ages and just we'll let it naturally do its thing i don't need to fix it this is going to be something that we're around in a very for a very very long time so over time this will all grow and just look more full one day and i need to shear some grass so we can move it down there uh Jimmy and Joel have both asked for statues of themselves. I can't build statues. Help. Um, you could build a statue of me building a statue. Building the statues of Joel. So, like, me as, like, a... Like, with a chisel and something. Like, cutting out, like, the... What, they're shaped from stone. There you go. There's your build idea. You're probably like, no, not another one. You probably spun yourself by mentioning it. Okay, 
Uh, let's do, 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 do a few little bits of flower actions. I like doing these in patches. I think it looks back best that way. Why'd you do this to me? You did it to yourself. You asked for this. You can't go around asking YouTubers to give you something to build and, and expect serious answers. <laughs> okay, uh, let's shear some of this grass. I like to put the grass on like the edge of mud because I think it helps blend the harsh line that you get out of the mud block compared to these other things. And also it doesn't naturally grow there. So I think it just, it's that extra little, so good. A little on top of the coarse dirt too. If I'm building a house in Minecraft. Um, focus on the shape. If the shape looks good with one single type of block, you got a good house. And then you add detail from there. Wish I bailed in Minecraft. Um, I don't know. Do, do they deserve a bail or should they sit there for a while? Just because somebody can be bailed out doesn't mean that they actually deserve to be bailed out. So, you know. It's up to you, though. Okay, uh, last step for like the river beddy section. I just like adding in a little bit of our stuff. Just a few little leafy, leafy bits. No, not there. And now that we can waterlog leaves, I kind of love doing this. I thought it looked so dumb before. I used to see people do this all the time and I was like, that looks so ugly. Like stop, you can see the lines where the air block goes in the water. But now that you can actually waterlog them, I'm like, ooh, kind of nice, kind of nice. I get it. I get what people were getting at before. Now you can actually just do it the right way. So that's fun. No, I don't want it. Whatever he's selling, I don't want it. Okay. Okay. Do you ever think about upgrading your base by adding new blocks to it? Like the starter house up there? Not really. I love the nostalgia of it and I really still like what it looks like. Uh, so no. Um, I, I like having that same base of operations from episode one. I think it's a cool nostalgia callback for the series uh, that we wouldn't really get otherwise. So I like having it there. Any tips on getting better for detailing? Uh, it, you just got to keep trying. Keep experimenting. Keep experimenting and trying to use blocks to make new shapes. That's that's your big big thing. That, that would be it. Okay. Uh, next. I want to get a bunch of bone meal. You still live in your starter base? Yeah, I still, <laughs> for the most part, yeah. <laughs> still living there. Okay, so I was thinking, I wanna make this look like it's something where it's pretty overgrown here because we have the fields up above. Like this isn't super accessible area. I know I'm breaking all the grass, but I wanna come back and just add some more. We're gonna get rid of all of the flowers that spawn, but I wanted to come through here and just add in a ton of our tall grass. We'll get rid of the flowers. We'll maybe add them back in patches later. But I had this idea off of, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and it's been really fun. I've been really, really enjoying it. But one thing I've noticed along a lot of the riverbanks that you go in, cause that whole game is just traveling up and down rivers pretty much. Uh, that's a good summary for the game is they have like these sections where there's a bunch of tall grass and then it's just like cut out in between them for maybe where people are using it as like an access point to walk down to the, the river area. So we could do a bunch of tall grass, like double tall grass, like in here. And then we can kind of have it a little bit more open in these sections with maybe a little, maybe a little, little bits of the grass down here. But I thought it'd be kind of fun. 
I thought it'd be something a little bit different that we've done elsewhere and I'm really just kind of seeing if it works and if it does work that becomes something that's very easy to replicate in a more of a large scale so we can come through here and just bone meal the heck out of this probably down here too and then we can have like another little kind of shorter strip I don't want it to look too rigid so we might have to go to the other side and see how we like it or not like a game trail to the river yeah pretty much so maybe we don't want like a ton of them all over the place but we're just we're just experimenting here I I really hate when you bone meal something and it grows a flower then you break the flower and you bone meal it again and it produces another flower I'm like no <laughs> this is specifically what I didn't want come on game <laughs> they're like no 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 you probably just wanted another flower I'm like no I didn't also idea that I've been playing around with for the texture pack I'm kind of thinking for 1.21 of doing a fairly big upgrade to the texture pack and adding in a new type of flower variation for every single type of flower that's in the game right now I thought that would be kind of fun as like a we're still getting a little bit extra foliage in an update that's really just not involving foliage and then also doing the torch flowers like getting some custom torch flowers in there my dog is named flip after you make sure they get all of the good boy pets ever ever like if they're ever looking at you that they, they need they deserve pets okay that's that's a requirement by giving them this that name I'm honored and they'll be the best dog ever in society maybe up here we just take a few of the yellow ones that we gathered We only been streaming an hour wow i'm over here like oh cool <laughs> that's it for today <laughs> i'm about to wrap up now i'm we'll go for a while yeah i like that i think that looks pretty good would the torch torch flower give off light level of glow like it no i can't do that on a texture pack i like that i think that's kind of fun What mods am I using? The whole list is in the Discord if you want to check it out there. I'm not going to go over it all right now because we do that pretty much every other stream. So if you're in for a while, whenever I feel like, all right, enough people have asked, then I'll go over all of it. But I don't want to right now is the big part. Another patch of dandelions would look good. We could do that like right here. yeah that's fun where's the sun bring on the shadows yeah wow have you thought about altering flower colors to accommodate your vision I don't know if that's something you've thought of or care about no Minecraft does a pretty good job of making all the flowers in the game actually work well for color blindness especially after they updated a lot of them to have unique shapes the only ones that are somewhat difficult are um the da -da -da, tulips because they're just tulips but I mean the colors are so different that it still works for me yeah I like that I think it looks good we got a little rock little itsy bitsy rock over there we could do another rock here to end it off yeah maybe let's do that let's build a let's build another rock yeah love rocks rocks are cool you ever just find a cool rock and you're like yeah that's a cool rock this is a great rock today's a great day after i found this rock just me it's like the guys at the beach picking up rocks and just be like yeah i'm gonna skip this thing I'm gonna skip it so far and then it skips twice and you're like yeah I did great 
so good at skipping rocks. <laughs> There's two simple joys in life. Finding a good rock and finding a good stick. Please build the Erebor. This would be so cool. I want to do more dwarven stuff. But I don't know if we'll build, like... I don't want to make any replicas of real world or real established fantasy things. But there will definitely... I, I have thought about doing, like, a giant dwarven gate at some point, so... When that'll happen, I don't know. If it'll happen, not 100% sure, but it's an idea I've been playing around with. Yeah, if you ever pick up a rock and you're just like, this is this is a smooth rock, that's pretty good. Finding a good rock and a good stick? Yeah, dude, 100%. Family's full of rock collectors. Seems like you have a good, you got a good family. Cha-ching! I was like, what am I forgetting? Acacia wood. Jinxie, thank you so very much for the 10 gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. That goes out to Aragonium. We got Lidley. We got Bram, we got Pilly, we got Jaden, Mystic Magic, How, Glindleword, Sandy, and Patty Daddy. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Take over the guise of Dwarf Impulse. All I remember, like I, I haven't interacted with Impulse as much as I would like to. He seems like a very lovely dude and our paths just have not crossed that much. So I'm, I'm hopeful that one day I can chat with Impulse and do record, make, make more content with him, but haven't had that opportunity quite yet. Anyways, though, is uh, when he and I chatted briefly during Empires, it, it, if this was off cam, I kind of wish it was on cam, but his like, his total Pikachu face when he was walking in Gobland and just seeing how massive a, of a cave that was. And he was like, how many hours did you spend digging this out? Like, what do you, like, how long did this take? And I was like, oh no, this naturally generated. Like, I haven't dug anything out of here. And the amount that he just went, like, just rethought, like, every life decision he'd made in the last few months. <laughs> And I was like, don't tell me you dug the entire dwarven place you're working in. And he was like, yeah. It's like, oh no, buddy. I'm so sorry. But oh my gosh, I thought that was so funny. Random rock fact. Fact. I don't have like super cool rock facts. But I do, like, when I, I kind of, I didn't really collect them too much as a kid, but um, my grandpa on my mom's side, he was a big rock collector, and, like, he loved, like, buying crystals and things, and he found this one that he gave to me that was a, like, a mouth. Like, it's a, it was a full-on, like, like, a C-shape, like this, but, like, a little bit more open, and it was the entire, it was a geode. And on the inside, there was just crystals throughout the entire thing. And it was so cool. And the outside was kind of like a dark gray, really similar to this color, actually. And the inside was just all these little white crystals. And I don't know where it is. It has to be somewhere at my mom's house, probably. And like, I, it's one of those where I might ask my mom where it is and see if I can get it back from her. Because it was a cool rock, man. It was a good rock. Good, good vibes. Good, good crystal vibes. I put those rock, like random stones in there, just a uh, fancy. Yeah, we also had uh, my we had a babysitter for a while growing up when well, both my parents were working, and um, our babysitter, her husband, was a paleontologist and would and would like go and do all these digs and find like dinosaur fossils and things like a lot down in Oregon uh one we got to have a really cool adventure one time where we actually got to go see it when we were kids dude that was cool um like we drove down one time uh because 
my both my parents had to travel for work trips at the same time and so she the baby's like the nanny was watching us for the whole time and she was like hey like would it be okay if i take your kids down to oregon to go check out what my husband's been working on uh and like they're just digging up they found a triceratops it that they're digging to. out and so we got to go down and see it that was so cool great experience but then they would always find these bones that they're like this isn't going to be worth anything so but like it's a kind of a cool collector's thing so they just gave them to us it was really cool so we had all these little like dinosaur bones like shin bones and things that just they couldn't find enough of the creature the like the skeleton to make it anything that they could actually like use and like put on display anywhere so they'd just be like do you guys want it and we're like yeah <laughs> so it was it was fun it was really cool it was a real very cool experience Should have made bone meal. I know. Could have ground it up and thrown out some flowers. Free bones. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I put it like that. Little weird. Thanks for making it weird. Little me was like, yay, free bones. I live in Oregon. I love visiting the sites. Yeah, it was really cool to go visit one that they were like actively working on. That was that was the really cool part because I seen photos and stuff i mean i was like six at the time uh but like in but i was fairly dinosaur obsessed as a kid so seeing like photos of it versus then being there in person when they're actually like people in there like out dusting the bones and doing all of it and trying to dig it up and everything i was like this is cool actually i want that back. Maybe add some cement, like concrete in here. I'm busy. Thank you. Unless you bring Nautilus shells, I don't want to buy anything. <clears throat> no, I don't want tridents. I have enough of those. There we go. That's a nice little boulder. Look at that. We got another boulder. Epic lobby terraform music. Yeah. Oh, actually, you stay in this river. You've actually... This boat has been in this river for... Thousands of days. Acclamation for block to use as a thatch roof. That isn't hay bales. You try bamboo. Bamboo plus birch plus oak. You could get some cool color variation and shading in that. I think oak on it, like oak planks work decent as like a, a thatch roof. Okay, I'm happy we spent the time doing this. I, I actually really like that now that I'm looking at it. Uh, what I want to do next is I'm seeing this place without any tall grass on it. And I... We're, we're in a tall grass in mood today. Sorry, grassing. We're, we're, we're grassing things today. Don't make that a weird statement. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm watching you chat. Bamboo, birch, oak. I think it could work. I think it could work. You didn't see a boat? There's no boat over there. There's nothing. There's no boat. Are you thinking about dressing up a trail ruin site? I've thought about making a custom one. But I, I don't know. I don't get... Like, I don't have a great time just fully customizing Minecraft structures. Because I find the confines of the Minecraft structure to be a little... Eh. Do we put a different custom tree we could do a tree here we're doing a tree not that tree. not that box. i know what i want to do i want to do one of those little alders tree where's the i thought i have a second alder tree have i not saved it maybe i haven't maybe i need to go save that one We're gonna go we're gonna go grab a tree real quick. Almost one thousand likes, we're getting there. Is that I like I've which one of these No, I ha what is this one saved under? Tree. Is it it's not a cypress, it's not a da, 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 da. Is it not here anymore? Because like this guy is 
that is that one. Oh, I thought that was that one. Okay, so that is the one that I wanted. Nope. Yeah, so that's that guy. That was the kind of one I was thinking about throwing in, but maybe because I haven't saved this one yet, we could put him in here. Uh huh. Bear with me, chat. It'll be just a minute. I just want a little guy. Just like a little guy dotted between the field. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, what am I calling these? Alder Small Bunch 1. Okay. Tree. Alder Small Bunch 2. Dave. Now that a dinosaur dig site. Yeah, that's... That could be a vibe. Touch to the creeper in your background. I'll donate ten dollars. Do it. Do it. You got to do it now. All their smaller bunch. <laughs> the tree pack, self-made. Those are all my trees. I've I made them all. No download. I just, I have so much fun messing with you all. I know it's really dumb, but I have so much fun with it sometimes. When people are coming in here to tr like troll me and trying to get me to do things, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. Don't challenge me. <laughs> I just, it's, I have a lot of, I get a lot of a joy out of it sometimes. I'm still waiting on that 10 bucks. I'm just saying. Okay, what do we need for this? Jungle leaves, jungle fence, mud bricks. That's okay. One packed mud. 88 jungle leaves. All right, we'll go get that and then we'll come back and do it. <laughs> not gonna, they're not, I, I know for a fact they're not gonna donate. Also, I think I missed this one earlier. Chroma holster. Thank you so much for the 17 months, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Grosmont, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should I donate it? Dude, you set the challenge. You can't say, wow, he did it. Should I donate it? No, that's... No, nah, you set the challenge. You you owe up. That's on you, homie. You made a bad bet. You should have made a better bet. <laughs> now, nah, if you're going to throw out 10 bucks like that for a challenge and you don't pay up the 10 bucks, respect is gone. That's four stacks of sand. I should probably go put that actually back in the place where the sandstorm is. Okay, fine. I'm gonna do it. Act mad. Act mad. That's just me being weird. I don't know. I purely only have West Coast accent, whatever that would be, but not a California accent. Common misconception. Very different. So many people just like see West Coast and they're like, oh, California. It's like, actually, no. 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 Very different, actually. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Robin, thank you so much for the dodo. And Yento, welcome back for 22 months. Drama assassin. No, I'm just all of the above, you know. It is what it is. Just a casual day in Flip Street Jack. Jungle leaves. We need to go harvest some more leaves soon. We're, we're running low. Got some Pagliacci pizza. Dude, uh, I love their sentioli. 
we don't we unfortunately don't live by one anymore that is like within delivery radius so i haven't had it and also you know lactose intolerant now so i can't really eat pizza anymore but they're a little sentioli you get that and you get like a you get like a caesar like their small caesar salad that gets you above the delivery limit to not be charged for the extra so it gets you there so you don't get the extra delivery charge and that is a perfect meal so good <laughs> keep it real only people in seattle know what pagliacci says though it's a local pizza chain <laughs> jinxie thank you so much for the 10 i appreciate it <laughs> You didn't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. Uh, no, I won't actually want that. That's not a that's not a hoe. That's a oh, it's because these boxes got swapped. I was like, where's my tools? I don't know. There's that, there's that, out of the way, perfect. And then I've got everything in my hands to be able to build the tree. Nice. We're hacking. We're hacking. Certified hacker man. think some people make bets and won't keep them. TSK, TSK, disappointing. TSK. Why do I love that it said that instead of tsk, tsk? <laughs> Jinxie, thank you again. I do appreciate it. Pleased to meet you. You support the channel a bunch, so thank you. Still hacking. Hacking is not done yet. Hacking will command will finish by the time we go to bed. It's hey, real. You know what we stand flip, so here less than three. Hysteria, thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. And we got Dylan, thank you so much for becoming a member, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or Ramping back up towards that 1,000 members again. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. That's where it, uh... That was pre-holiday numbers. <gasps> There's monsters. Oh, no. Anything but the monsters. Not the gumdrop buttons. Yeah, there's a button you click to turn on easy place. It's for real. We don't have to, but we're pleased to. Thank you, Lulu. I appreciate the dono. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are lovely. And we got a, almost a stack of oak leaves out of that. Heck yeah. And then I wanted to... Oh, like the main reason why I was doing it was because I wanted to get some grass back here. Got to get that grass. Grass, grass, grass. Definitely saying Pleased to meet you. Not anything else. Don't be weird. Your brain went there, not mine. I was talking about grass. Because this is called grass, not tall grass, as people seem to always want to remind me. <laughs> nice. Oh, that looks good. I like it. That's a good little tree there. A nice little tree. One K likes. We did it. Wow. Don't let your dreams be memes, kids. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good tree. That's a good tree. 
Hey, for real. Hackity hack. Heck. Huck. Hick. I'd JK. <laughs> Yentl, thank you so much for the donut. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Love your videos. Greetings Ooh. from Switzerland. I read that as five. Marcos, thank you so very much. Hello. How's it going over in Switzerland right now? Thank you so very much. That is very, very generous of you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Cherry Pie, thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. So I'm just trying to stretch my back out. I did a upper body workout yesterday and oh, I actually really messed my wrist up. I'm really not happy about it. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, but wow, my back is cracking. It was a lot of arms and shoulders yesterday. And then like I, I have, like I was doing like those um, where you do like a curl up and then you turn your hand and go down. I was doing those at a, as a higher weight this time than I normally do. And I was going down and my whole just like forearm here just like lit up. And then my, my wrist was just like, eh, and I was just like, ow, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Thotman curls. Yeah, I was like, eggs is going to know what these are. <laughs> I just follow what the people tell me to do. I don't know what they're called. I just am like, oh, you want me to do, you want me to move the weight in here? Okay. Ginny, thank you so much for the gift membership. I do appreciate it. Happy to not hear it. A bad reflex wasn't hearing that kind of noise. Yeah. I, thankfully, I got a good noise filter on the mic. But, oh man. Cha -ching. I've been trying to be really good. I, I, I hit a, I hit a 70 week streak on exercising. And I'm I'm averaging five workouts a week right now, and I'm pretty happy about it. I've been very very happy with it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. They give you a good pump, yeah. You get good pump out of it, yeah. I was doing some in like an arm workout last week where it's oh we're in the field now. Um, where you kind of, you're doing the bicep curls, but you pull your elbows back a little bit. And so when you're going all the way down, it like activates even more. And, oh my God, those were painful. Proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jenny, another gift membership. Thank you so very much. My friend was talking to his crush. And the first thing he, she said was, how much do you bench? He was like, what? <laughs> I, if anybody asks me how much I bench, I doesn't don't care how long I've known the person unless we're actively talking about exercising and things in the gym and the stuff like that massive red flag <laughs> just massive red flag like it's okay to be a gym bro but like you don't just like throw out random questions of how much you bench be Jenny thank you so much for the three months and couldn't work out a straight donor so two gifts and said hey no no worries at all I absolutely love it I I honestly love the gift memberships because it means people get little membership badges and they get they get the shares more love in the community and all that so definitely never feel bad about doing that I really appreciate it how much do I lift uh Maybe that's why I don't like, because I my bench is not that great. No, I'm in I'm kind of in a phase right now where I'm trying to thin up a little bit and uh, kind of I'm really focusing on cardio and just trying to get a little bit more definition instead of getting like super like bulky and buff. Like I don't really wanna. It's not really my goal. I don't like I. I've been in that phase of life before where I've just like, I like in college, I was like really into the gym, like freshman and sophomore year of college. And my bench, like the highest I got was like a 240. So at the time I was doing 50 above body weight. Uh, I definitely could not do that now, especially not with my wrist and my elbow. So I just don't want to hurt myself. So I've definitely kind of go more for just, I'm trying to do more body weight things. And that, and like focus on that. I, I think it's just long-term health. Videos, man. Like I, Much like I don't care to be super bulked up. Once I'm recovering from my injury, I want to get into running and working out. Yeah, I've gotten really into biking, um, like stationary bike, exercise biking, uh, and that's been fantastic. I've been loving that for cardio because growing up I was a swimmer, and there's just not many swimming pools that are accessible for 
in the Pacific Northwest Cha area. Like I'd love to get back into swimming and do that. But I also am not waking at five, waking up and being at a pool at 5 a.m. again. Like I'm never doing that again in my life. Uh, I did that for uh, many, many years of just club swimming and everything like that. And then hard swapped water polo to where instead of 5 a.m. It was being in the pool from 8 to 11 p.m. Like 10 p.m. <laughs> some nights. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just not about that life. I'm not waking up super early to get to the pool to go swimming. Like, I just, I don't have that in me anymore. Um, so, no, I'm, I, I like stationary bike. We have a Peloton, so it's easy to just, like, jump on whenever I want. So I kind of, I do, like, I wake up, take the dogs for a walk, get some breakfast, get some caffeine, and then I just jump in, jump on the bike and work out. Get it, Jenny. Get it. Have fun. Uh, Kylie, thanks so much for the donut, or the gift membership. I really appreciate that. Spy, thank you so much for the dono. Love from France. I, hey. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always cool here seeing where everybody's from. Wimzella, thank you so much for the dono. So how much do you lift, bro? <laughs> Mysteria, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to see how long this can be. <laughs> yeah, uh, like right now, I just have like weights at home and we have just, we just have dumbbells that go up to 25s right now. And outside of that, I'm just doing body weight stuff. So I'm just trying to, just off of that. Not nothing super crazy. What was I gonna work on? I had something else I wanted to do today. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! oh I know what it was. So, how much do you lift, bro? <laughs> Lol. Romantic face. I like how it reads. Romantic face. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I wanted to do next is put this junk away, and then I wanted to work on extending this pathway back along here as I'm running out of space for fields and I need to have a path that I can build fields off of. So I need to keep extending it back that way. How are the puppies? They're good. We got Coda on a new joint supplement and he's very, he's a big happy dog right now. He's like, and so he's on a joint supplement and he's on probiotics. Hey, for real. I want um, to see how long this can be. And he's he's really happy. He's really happy. Three less than 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 three. It's good just to strength train. You don't need to look scary. Oh yeah, no, I, I like I don't like I never want to be in like a phase where I'm just like massively bulked up anymore. Like no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine without that. Okay, uh, we're gonna bring all that core dirt with us, and then I'm gonna go get some sprucey slabs. Uh, Platinum Archer, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I do appreciate that. And Wisteria again, thank you so much for the dono. Uh, do we have any? No, but we can make some. Hee hee, wee. Wee! Need to build fields near the Pillager Castle. That's kind of, I am working towards that. I, I like the, we have two down there right now on one farmhouse. So I want to dot like another farmhouse in, I think like here-ish. And then kind of maybe another farmhouse out there and add a few more fields in. I think that could look cool. When the weather gets better, I'm going to start cycling again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not excited for it to be super hot in our exercise room. We're just going to leave this out here with all these as like just temporary holding spot. <clears throat> When I get a cat, what should I name it? Dog. Forgot how close the Pillager Castle is to everything else. Yeah, I want to build up like the landscape as a bit more of a barrier so it feels separate. Does anyone know if Whip uses item sorters in his storage rooms? I don't. I have one in the lumber mill, but it broke <laughs> and I've never fixed it. Okay, so I'm thinking we can come back along here and just kind of start carving this back, get a road in. And it looks like I already terraformed that so we can more easily just bring it down. But I want this to be something that's much more accessible. Like we need, we really need to get road vibes back here.
And I actually do want to extend it. How far would we have to go? Because I was thinking we could extend the dirt road just as like, hey, future project coming and like meet it down over to there. Does this connect all the way through? Oh, we could. Yeah, we could connect all that through. Does Swift just mesmer memorize what chest each thing is in? Yeah, I mean, I play in this world every day. I'm playing, I work in this world for right now, probably like five, six hours a day. So. I understand. I know where a lot of things are in the world. I could even tell you what most of the Shulker mess monster boxes have in them. Like, so it's uh, me knowing where stuff is, is my, my, br my brain is really good at remembering where things are. Uh, to a fault because that means I just don't bother organizing because I'm like of course I know it, which pile it's in sitting in my room I yeah that's in my office I could find it it's in this pile they're organized piles okay it's not a mess mom okay actually my mom did the same thing so she could never get mad at me because she also had her own piles okay we're gonna use that <clears throat> Here is the point where the train's gonna come back up. So we will drop it down here, up onto there, and then. Let's drop all the dirt and grass that we have and the flowers into here. Actually, those flowers, I think, can fit into the other gray box. Yeah. My I the one one trait that I have that I very much appreciate having is my memory for random details. Pretty good. Memory for not random details. Like, you know, important things that I should probably be remembering. Not very good. Not not very good. Like I'm one of those people who will meet somebody new. Be like, oh, what's your name? Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Blah blah blah. And then 10 seconds later into the com conversation be thinking what the heck was their name what did they say it was was it pot no no it wasn't that what was it and uh then after the conversation we'll lean over to sit and be able to like what was their name again <laughs> and next time i see him ah, no, sorry i can't remember but their dog if they have a dog i'll remember that dog's name for a year even if i never see the dog again i'll remember it It has, it's like good and bad. It has its, it has its perks. That's a huge freaking move, dude. I swear, it's so bad. We have some neighbors that, like, I see every single morning. <laughs> They're walking their dogs too. I know their dogs' names. <laughs> Done morning dog walks for two years. <laughs> and since we've lived here, and. I know exactly what their dogs are named. I do not know their names. <laughs> and they have probably told me their name like six times. And at this point, I feel like it's a little rude to keep asking. just dog owner life yeah i think that's i think that's most of it yeah I like this road got a little wider than it started. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just like I'm just kind of noticing it. Okay, that, I mean that works to bring us over here. That's I mean it's simple. Oh, we need to actually bring this down. Boop boop, and a little entry point into Dishfield. 
and it does something like a that. Easy. Does uh, the, the entrance to that one's over there, so we're we're good. Go. I just wait for their name to come up again in some context or conversation, really. Yeah, I usually just wait for uh, Sid to be out walking the dogs with me because she doesn't do a lot of the morning dog walks, so she doesn't like see the same people when she's walking the dogs. So then I'm like, oh, okay, it's great, because then she'll introduce herself, then they'll introduce herself, and hopefully I'll remember and I forgot already. But, you know, it is what it is. Sasha, thanks so much for the dono. I appreciate it. Buddy, pal, friend. How old do you think I am? I like having that. I like that road back there. I like that. THX for the membership and like the stream. Okay, uh, I actually want to collect some leaves. We're gonna we're gonna clear a little like path through here so we can start working it over. Um, but I want to get my trusty hoe and we can start leafing. Well, gathering leaves. We're opposite of leafing. We will leaf no survivors. Pal is such an aggressive way to refer to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Listen here, pal. Every time I hear it, I just think of some some dude from Texas, like stereotypical Texan, just going, <laughs> just being mad about something, saying pal. That's where my brain goes. Definitely cowboy hat. Cowboy hat involved for sure. I kind of bring it through there. Maybe I get rid of this tree too. Or that meme of like, I ain't your buddy friend. I ain't your friend pal. And then I ain't your pal guy. And then just kind of keeps going on and on and on as it do. Music broke dead. There we go. There's like one or two songs on the playlist that just randomly stopped playing. And they're like, they're both Minecraft lo-fi songs, like from the official Minecraft soundtrack. And I'm like, why did this break? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Why are you broken? I just want you to work. I like the song too. trying to be better about when I'm clearing areas to gather all the leaves because I always am running out of leaves so anytime that I'm actually like in an area being like oh I need to chop some trees down I'm trying to be like no don't just chop them gather the leaves and then chop like you need these you need the blocks custom trees aren't gonna build themselves doing hey what are you doing chopping some trees down getting some bushes think of the trees yeah okay so if we break this one oh i definitely should have done like a replay marker for this because i could time lapse this that's called content You 
can't. It's a single player world. He plays on draw by this true, this true, true. Mm, yep. Does he have a leaf shipment? Dude, I wish I had a shipment of leaves coming in. Are you kidding? That'd be the best day ever. Somebody's just over here like, hey, Flip, we got your shulker boxes of leaves here ready to go. You can start building your trees again. I'd just be like, yes. Do you have merch? Uh, Not right now. I don't. I'm thinking about doing something, though. I, can't, I have an idea for like 2 million subscriber merch. But that's a ways out, so I don't think I need to be prepping it yet. Maybe I could get it prepped and then it's ready and then I just need to find somebody for distribution. But I also feel like that's a little weird to prep 2 million sub merch when I'm at 1.6 million. And we've gained 12,000 subs in the last month. So I'm not really like flying towards 2 million or anything like that, right? We need merch. I, yeah. The, I guess the last merch that we did was the Goblin Flips. I've, I've been getting a lot of people reaching out to me about, like, new companies that want me to do, like, another plush. Being like, hey, we saw your last one was so successful. Do one with our company. I'm like, I don't know if I want my next merch drop to be another plushie right away. Like, I feel like I need to... I want to do some apparel. I, I, that's, I know that like that's the route I want to go for the next is like shirts and sweatshirts and just do them like unisex sizing and just send it. But I'm not sure like where to go with it. Maybe I'll try and get something for like the summer. I'm so bad about planning that sort of stuff. Like that is that's one of those things that as a YouTuber. I struggle with so much with planning merch. I, it's one of those where I'm like, man, I should have something. Ah, uh, you mean I should have started it to have it ready for this date? I should have started it how many months ago? I wasn't thinking about that. You have in-game plush? There you go. You're ready. Also have a pretty bad like, for real. taste in my mouth from the last merch, merch company still everyone i got burned so bad that it just makes me not really want to do it again i still never got paid for that so they started just fully ghosting me completely they just completely stopped responding to emails so i was like all right i'm it's not worth the energy for the amount of money that I would get out of it, and the chance of getting any of the money back that they owe me was nothing. No, the Goblin Flip plush I got, I was paid on that. No, no, makeshift did uh, makeshift did a good job. It was the last apparel line that we did. Um, I I literally didn't get paid. And. Th th the stupid part is I keep hearing more and more stories of that from creators. Like the amount of scammy merch companies that are out there that are just taking advantage of creators not knowing like how to read legal contracts and things is scary. Like it's like there's a lot of companies that are doing it. Or like I know the one Shelby's dealing with right now. They fully like they have documentation showing that they knew they were going bankrupt at a certain time and then Shelby reached out after the point where the company knew they were going bankrupt and the company was like yeah you can start a merch line with us that sounds great sold all of it and then filed bankruptcy and said we're not fulfilling orders and you're not getting your money back like <laughs> what <laughs> um so yeah it's it's a it's a weird world but like they they fully knew like two months before Shelby even like signed with them to do another round of merch that they were going bankrupt.
there's a lot of companies out there that are just their their full income comes off of taking advantage of uh creators that got into being a creator as a hobby and not as a business professional there's so many companies that just take so much advantage of it it's really scary it's like being a creator you have to be so careful about who you work with and there's no way to like truly vet things because the internet is such an anonymous place of anybody can claim anything yeah i mean like uh remember if y'all remember jimmy got hacked a few years ago uh the way he got hacked was somebody reached out to him and said hey <clears throat> we want to do a brand deal with you. Uh, we're going to give you early access to the new Final Fantasy game and or Black Desert Online or whatever it was. I can't remember. And they're like, and then we will uh, it will send you the download for it. And then we want a video and we'll pay you X just crazy dollar amount. That was like four times the amount that Jimmy had gotten for any other brand deal. And the game hadn't even been released. And so, of course, he's like, yeah, that sounds insane. That sounds amazing. Uh, and then they're like, cool, just download this file to play the game. And the file was just, it was a straight up keylogger that took over his computer, like a full on just virus, took over his email, took over his computer, changed all his passwords to everything within a few seconds. And he completely lost everything on his YouTube channel. And it took a few days to get it back. Okay, that's good. That's the road. We'll just leave it to here for now. You like Taylor Swift? Yeah, we're going to see her. We're going to see her in the fall. Yeah, so he got it back, like, thankfully. Thank God. But, like, yeah, that was a scary time, I remember. Um, Lizzie was super helpful in him getting it back because she instantly reached out to her partner manager and was like, hey, you need to help this guy. <laughs> like, you need to do everything you can because YouTube partner support is just telling him, yeah, figure it out yourself. Like, <laughs> and so her partner manager was able to light some fires under people and get them to fix it so it's a scary world it's a it's, youtube is a scary place it's not all sunshine and rainbows like some people think it is t swift fan yeah we got uh we got tickets to go to one of the shows in the fall so i'm going sid's got my, me and sid are going and then two, two of our best friends are going too it's gonna be fun I'll be honest, anytime people ask me, like, who's your favorite song from this person? My brain, again, that thing of not remembering important details or stuff. Brain, blank. <laughs> Non-existent. No thoughts. Um, I do like her newer stuff. Like, I this is going to be sacrilegious to a lot of the T-Swift fans. But I really like a lot of the remixes people make of her stuff. I, her stuff's good, too. But I really like a lot of the remixes people make. But... We've been getting into collecting vinyls and have a record player. And so we have like three or four of her albums on record, like on vinyl right now. And those are really fun. Those are fun to throw on. Y'all will be excited to share a birthday with T Taylor. Oh my gosh. Not the same year though. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, it can't be perfect. It's fine. That's sacrilegious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. We got that road out here. We can line it with fields everywhere. It's going to be amazing. I think I put a field up there. Ooh. Ooh. A hipster. I hate to say it, but I'm definitely one of those people now where it's like, if you have music, if you have good speakers and you have a good record player, the music sounds better. It's true. It is fact pleased to meet you it's just a true statement so yeah 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 it's i know i'm one of those people who's like yeah record players actually make a difference and also it's kind of fun like if you're having friends over not everybody has like a record player or anything like that so a lot of friends are coming over. We're just chilling and we're like getting up and like changing the records, throwing on different ones. And people are like, oh, this is so cool. This is fun. So 
don't know. I like it. Uh, Rain it. Uh, Rainy. Thank you so very much for the seven months at tier two. Got to put on a beanie on when you say that. No, I, my head gets too hot. Do you ever own a Walkman? Yeah, I'm not that old. Come on now. You think I'm like ancient over here? It's looking good though. I'm glad. I'm happy with the progress we made. We got that all figured out today. We got a new tree made. We built a new tree right there. And we got a new road going all the way out that way. Wow. My life is almost working, so we should go repair that. Two hours of stream? We've done it. Look at that. It's a rare two hour flip stream. I do prefer older stuff, but I like your newer stuff. See, I much prefer newer stuff because I, I, I mean, I exist more in like the electronic realm of music that I listen to and a lot more in like the pop electronic and those types of things. So I like the newer stuff because I'm not a huge fan of country and I know she started in a lot of the countryside. And so I, I like kind of when it's shifted into the more like newer style stuff. So the country stuff is like, it's fine, but it's just not my, it's not my go-to. Graveyard album ever. I, I don't remember names to stuff like that, I'll be honest. Do a little tool repair job here. Get the wings first. Please don't backtalk the admins and the mods in here. They're here to help make it a safe space. If you're giving one of them a hard time, you will be removed. Just, just be ready. I always come to the this farm being like, oh, it's gonna be so fast. And then it just doesn't spawn anything. Will you ever use Tobu for time watching? What the heck is Tobu? Watch this episode on the hardcore playlist. Building this. 200 hours in the nether. Pleased to meet you. Bree, thank you so much for coming to Smarter. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The sword of a thousand and one truth. Truth? I don't know. It's like a one better than the South Park sword. Sometimes I like to be the one that bans people. There's a lot of satisfaction in it. What's your least favorite tree? Least favorite Minecraft tree? Honestly, I think mangrove. I really don't like the look of the mangrove trees. I think they're... Like I was really excited for them when they came out. And then I love the wood color. I think the leaves are a little ugly. Um, and then, oh my God, I just remember we have a mangrove propagule farm underneath the, we need to move that. I need to put that somewhere I can actually access it. Um, but yeah, I like, uh, I, yeah, I don't like mangrove trees. I think mangrove roots are hard to work with. And I just think that, like, the way they grow in game is I just don't like them. Um, and they're just annoying as all heck to chop down. I, they, like, if I'm building a tree farm for something, it's because the tree is absolutely terrible to chop down. And I built a mangrove tree farm. I don't like tree farms. I actively don't like using tree farms because I want the stats to show how much I've done in this world. Sounds like growling. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs are here so you can automate this farm. Because if 
you kill all the withers and then you pop up your doggos the withers can't attack him so and they fall with one health so the doggos can just kill him but the doggos don't have looting so oh, yeah i'm gonna bite their ankles i'm gonna bite their ankles and murder them good doggies so you gotta you gotta drop them back down because otherwise your sword will kill your own dogs what are the admins oh my god oh wow hello there weather skeletons oh that's a good batch it's a good good batch look at the skull is the inventory full no okay Just took a second the skulls we've got 31 skulls six skulls four skulls no skulls only skulls Why not use the Enderman farm, which is faster? I didn't want to fly that far. Just broke my netherite shovel by accident. Dude, pain. So much pain. That's awful. I'm sorry. That's a rough one. Yeah, Minecraft is big thumbs down. I'm going to say that in a Minecraft stream. Because that would be cool. They're in danger tree. That's why Mojang make them hard to cut down. <laughs> yeah i mean i think mangrove trees like irl they're really cool and <clears throat> what they do for like ecosystems even cooler like awesome um but yeah i i just think the minecrafty version of them is didn't translate well out of interest how long often slash long after posting do you read comments on foot videos um i usually read through them the day that they all go out and see if there's any ones that are really standing out to me and then usually i record the comment of the day after i finish recording the next video um which usually is like monday or tuesdays so i'll grab comments then and then i'll go and i usually try and grab comments from the most recent video <clears throat> Mangrove forest equal anxiety. Yeah. yeah, I think just like in theory, what they did with mangrove swamps in Minecraft, I just don't think it was thought through super well. Um, because it's one of those where like, I think they added the elements and we're like, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. And then they made like mangrove trees one pain to chop down they're everywhere and they're just annoying and they also have mossy carpets on them which is a cool detail but makes them more annoying because that's another block you have to manage when you're collecting all the stuff and then so you have mangrove popicules you have mangrove leaves you have sticks you have mangrove logs and you have mossy carpets like there's five things that come out of the trees and that's so if you're chopping a single tree there's already five inventory slots right there um unless you just don't have silk tiles then there's four but that all being said you add mud into the mix and that is a non-spawnable block because it's not a full block height so you like if there's things that are like frogs don't spawn on mud when mud is the biggest thing in the biome so the biome where you are trying to get frogs being the only biome that they spawn in they can't spawn on one of the blocks that fills the entire biome and then they also can't spawn on water which is also filling a large portion of the biome so you can only get frogs in the mangrove swamp if if you build a platform or you find a random grassy area okay that's just kind of a miss <laughs> Like, I just, I don't understand how that wasn't caught. New video tomorrow? No, no video tomorrow, unfortunately. I, um, I'm trying to get ahead a little bit because I am working on prepping a new series. No, it's not Hermitcraft. Before anybody freaks out. All right, we'll just let the dogs do the rest. So, like, it's hard to get frogs in there. And then you also have random tropical fish that spawn in there. 
which is kind of cool when you're swimming around in it, but also that just creates more lag. And we have all the leaves in there. That's also more lag. Like the laggiest biome in Minecraft is the jungle and then the mangrove swamp. Oh, right. There's vines. I completely forgot the, about the vines everywhere. Um, so I don't know. I, I like mangrove swamps are one of those where like looking at the biome from a distance. I'm like, that's cool. And then we actually get in there and do it. Yeah, I'm just, nah. Any leaks for what the new server will be like? I've already teased it on Twitter. Not too much. No, I'm, I'm not spoiling it. I asked everybody in the group who's involved to not spoil things and not tease it. So I'm also sticking true to that rule for myself. I will. The only thing I will say is that it's a series that is going to be a mid mid length series. Like Empires is a long series. This is not a long series. So there, there's your there's your teaser. Actually, let's no. We're just gonna take the boxes. Have you played 1.20.4? I'm thinking about updating to it. I haven't yet. I, I'm thinking about updating it right now. So I'm joining the live series. No, I'm making my own, making my own uh, SMP. This is a certified flip creation for the next series I'm running. From start to finish, it's all a me. I will. <clears throat> the tip you get. Here's your, here's your teaser. There is one mod. We are adding one mod. That I'm getting custom made and it's almost finished. There we go. No, I, I, I commissioned a mod to be built. What's the cloud texture pack? It's a mod called Better Clouds. I don't know why I took those out and then was coming over here to drop off flowers and leaves. I can't remember. Oh, right here. It's like, where the heck did I put these? And where did I put the... There they are. This is the only storage room that I feel like I'm still kind of learning. Oh, I forgot all this dirt. Ha, ah, oops. I don't really have a place for bamboo or sugarcane in here. Sugarcane just kind of stays in its own space. That's okay. We'll get the rest of these put out here. Uh, do I have bamboo here? Am I putting bamboo? No, I don't, because I have the giant bamboo... Oh, I just... Uh, my light source. When do I get the ability to put honey on a berry bush so I don't... can't break it off anymore? When can I wax a, gl a glow berry? I can wax everything else in this game. better cloud cause noticeable lag i haven't noticed anything but my computer is stronger than many people's so you'll just have to install it and see is the best thing that i could really say um i just don't have an answer i don't i don't know is the answer i haven't noticed any additional lag with it but i also I'm on a very powerful computer. So it's a little bit of a different situation. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 
Will the mod be for the new SMB be downloadable or server exclusive? I don't know. I have not figured that out yet. I'm going to assume it's server exclusive, but I'm also going to assume that as soon as we launch it, somebody else, as always, as it happens every single time that I commission a mod, somebody makes somebody makes it. Um, so I'm not too sure. Um, I will I will have to think about that because kind of every single time that we do release something like this, it get very quickly turns into somebody else just makes a copy of it and then it gets downloaded a few hundred thousand times and like usually it's like it's different enough that it's not a direct copy because obviously like they don't have the code for ours and they don't know the back end of how we actually are structuring things so it's different but it still kind of is a little it's i find it to be a little bit of an ick uh when somebody just sees what we made and they're like "Ooh, if i make that i'll get a bunch of downloads and i can make some money but Am I allowed to talk about another hardcore YouTuber or streamer in a positive way? <clears throat> it depends if your positive way is trying to get other people to go watch their content or not. You can bring up other creators. Like, I have no rules against talking about other creators in here. <clears throat> but what I don't want is people coming in and being like, Hey, you should go watch blah, blah, blah. Like that? Not okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you're like, I don't know something like talking about how blah 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 made a cool build like that's different context you know use sodium i do yeah i'm thinking about checking out nvidium here soon too i've heard good things thank you kindly you are doing great i hope to enjoy your content for a long time i'm not really a live stream person but i eagerly await your videos Hey, is uh Soyo Kazi? I I probably ruined that, but thank you so much for the donut. I really do appreciate that. I totally understand. Glad you enjoy the videos. That is awesome. Uh, thank you again so very much for the donut. I appreciate the support. Yeah, we're uh, I'm I'm ramping back up into video production season. I I'm have. I've been definitely moving slow because I very much needed it. I've had a lot of admin stuff that I've been needing to tackle on the back end, and I think I'm finally... I, I am finally getting through a lot of it, so I'm excited. How many days are we on? 6,059. Flip is streaming. Go watch it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Would Flippy Craft Season, season 1 be a roleplay server or, like, a normal SMP? Normal SMP. Less, less focus on roleplay. No multiverse allowed. <laughs> Joking, not joking. That is a rule that I said. <laughs> I actually set that rule. <laughs> All right, my friends. I think with that, we've got a lot of work done today. So that's going to have to do it. I really do appreciate you all hanging out. Uh, well, there'll be lore. Minimum lore allowed. No, no multiversal game-breaking lore is one of my rules. And no lore that causes the player to be trapped inside of their own bubble to the point where they can't interact with other people. That is, those are the, those are the two rules that I've set as far as lore going in, into the new series is, uh, it's a little sausage fueled on the no multiversal rule that and Ollie sausage and Ollie are those two, like the, 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 chaos that that brings into the fan community of people trying to link our characters and our versions back to our empires and thinking that they're in the same worlds and things and interactions coming out i think causes a lot of confusion for new people coming in um it's one of those things like you know that you meme that is the no uh worries. i like a well-made video more than a constant weekly push just to have a video yeah, there you go there you go i appreciate it thank you so much again for the dono um, uh, but it's one of those things where if you like, you know, when you're like, Ooh, this is kind of a cool thing. I'm going to dip my toe in. And then you look at the fan base and they're over there, like hunched in the corner and they're kind of like foaming at the mouth, you know, that meme. And then they're like eh, over there. <clears throat> and then you're like, Oh, and they're like, you need to know all this information to be caught up with the series. And, blah, blah, blah. and then the, the new people are like, Oh, that's a, I just wanted something to watch, but, uh, okay. All right. You have fun over there. You know that. It got, it was getting a little to be that. I love those fans. I think they're great. 
but I was having a lot of people come in and comment on my video asking questions and things like that about stuff. And I was seeing a lot of comments saying, you have to go back and watch this old series to fully understand what's coming in here because obviously this connect character is connected here through the multiverse and blah, blah, blah. And that, like, it's too much. It's too much. Like that's why I think like Marvel is failing. Like Marvel right now, I see them on like a massive decline and a big part of it is because they have overlapped every single series. Like you can't go in, like imagine going to a Marvel movie right now with no knowledge of anything happening ever in a Marvel superhero, but it's the first one. Like it's the first of a movie series and you go in for a Marvel one, like you watch, like, I don't like the new Spider-Man ones. You even go back and watch like the first one of that that came out. If you hadn't watched Iron Man, you weren't gonna know half the stuff of the background in there. And if you hadn't watched a few other things like Captain America, you wouldn't know more like about there where that connects in. And then you need to know these things about there and blah, 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 blah. And there's too much. They're just, it's so bad. They're, they're so poorly written and they're so dependent on the fans being super fans and consuming everything that it's turning into a form that is not welcoming to new fans. And I want to make sure my series and everything that I do, everything is going to be very standalone. I want the series to exist, be its thing, and then that chapter closes. I don't want to bring in anything from previous series. We even tried doing that with Empire Season 2, and then fans were like, no, this is connected to Season 1. Because people, like, we even made a thing of saying that, like, Empire Season 2 is set 10,000 years apart. Like that there can't be anything, like there's no connection. Nobody from that is alive, anything like that. And then people were like, well, actually there could be a time traveling and blah, blah, blah. So obviously this character is involved here. I'm like, no, no, we said no. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll see a lot of the series that I run moving forwards and a lot of the ways that I do thing. I might draw on old things because every single series I do is just me as a, like me playing the game. As much as like I was Goblin Flip, like, I'm very much just me, just being a little extra goofy, if anything. And so, yeah, that's kind of the way the series are going to structure moving forwards. Like ones that I'm really involved in is they're going to be a lot more standalone. Um, so, yeah, I I have heard Loki was good. We've been meeting to start season two. We haven't done it yet. Uh, we finally finished Blue Eye Samurai. It was amazing. And then we haven't really been doing much more like we haven't really been watching tv recently a new book just came out uh earlier this week that sid has been waiting for for like two years so she's like very into that right now and i'm like all right <laughs> we'll talk in like six days when you get through it <laughs> um yeah only connection is picks just searching for the past but yeah yeah but then you added like some multiversal stuff came back up and then like no i'm not like pointing fingers of saying where the fault of it came in but as the series went on like the line of like the connection got blurred instead of being like we're fully separate like there started being some blurring of like characters being brought back and things like that that i think caused a little bit of confusion and then i think what we had a big issue with like empire season two i think the biggest issue that we had was after the hermitcraft collab ended we had no fire left in us like we were tired we were done nobody wanted to do anything uh, and so the series just kind of fell and just like, it like fell and then just kind of like rolled across the finish line. So like looking back on it, which I think is a good thing to look back off of those, uh, and kind of see where we went wrong and where we could do better moving forwards. Um, it's one of those where I'm think like, we just, we didn't have energy cause we put so much energy into that collab and doing so much in there to get that all planned. And then we're like, okay, we're going to take a holiday break and then we're going to come back. And when we tried coming back, like just the views were really not there. So the motivation was there, was just not there. Um, is it me or did Dream SMP ruin other casual series forever? Uh, I think Dream SMP exists in its own bubble and people are going to be forgetting about it soon enough. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't need to rant on this too much. That's just kind of some thoughts I have on it for where we're going. So yeah. We'll see. we'll see. We'll see what happens. We've got, there are some very cool things in the works 
for like my series that I'm launching is going to be going until the summer. And then um, there's potential for another thing happening in the summer. There'd be a different series starting. And I don't uh, I don't know how long that'll last for. You want to see the sign? I saw the sign. I need to get it mounted on the wall still, but it's there. I like it. I can change the brightness level on it too. So I'm thinking I might tone it down a little because it's kind of getting a little bright washed out, but. So yeah, that's that's kind of fun. We got another stuff coming up soon. So yeah, we've got the new one launching end of this month and end of February. It's end of January right now, end of February. Uh, and then you'll have more info on that soon once we get the actual date nailed down and then it's gonna be um yeah I'm, I'm gonna just be running that on hardcore and i'm really excited to continue the enshrouded streams uh so for those who <clears throat> checked it out on monday when we streamed enshrouded with shelby sausage and scott uh super fun i had so much fun i've been building in that game a bunch since then uh and just like experimenting with it i honestly i i'm hyped about it so i'm gonna show you all it I, let me open the game because i can oh there's an update maybe i can't we'll see how, no it's already done Ha <laughs> gig internet woo that's a flex <laughs> no it's not oh my god why is it patching 30 gig patch you said you download the update uh shelby sausage scott and swip yeah, and uh, Pixlerifs is going to join next Monday too. Uh, he he bought the game after watching my stream and was and just like lived in it for a few hours. And then now he streamed earlier with Jimmy and Martin and Ollie and them playing. And uh, so yeah, and shouted. Yeah, I'll show you all the game. I'll show you all what I was able to build. I really like it. Like the building in the game is very cool. Um, so yeah. Right now, I the I'm trying to think of a fun name for the group, and it's just just f s s s s s. But now we have a P to work with too, so we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if Pix is going to join every week or not, but I, the original core four, like we've, we, I brought it up to the group like three weeks ago. I was like, hey, I've been watching this game for a year. I've been wanting to play it so badly, and I want to get a group of people to stream with on a regular like weekly basis. And if anybody's interested, let me know. Like, and either let's do a group of four, see where it lands. If that works, and we can add in more, we'll do more. Um, <clears throat> I never said bye yet. I just said that's wrapping up today. And then we're still we just got talking, and then I forgot about this game. I love I love this game. I couldn't tell you a new game I got. Let me actually. What are the guys with trees next to their name? The green names in chat are all members. So as you are a member for many more months, your tree grows and gets bigger. Um, I need, oh, this is why it's not working. Yeah, so this is the house now. Uh, here's my house tour, welcome on in. Uh, I built this little, so I learned that you can do block by block building, like little bricks. Uh, so like each one of these little bricks coming up here is its own little peg. So I started working on this. So we got a fireplace coming out the back. And then we've got this second story added on here that I built brick by brick because I want to get the cool windows in there and I couldn't fit these walls in. Uh, I've been learning how to do the pathing tool. I just got the, how did I, I like hiding my HUD. Uh, show HUD, there we go. Uh, I just got this rake. Yeah, the rake's cool. So you can like level out terrain with it, it's fun. Um, so we, I've redone the interior a little bit. So we got him over here. We got a little fireplace. So you can sit right in front of the fire and then, oh, there's a little gap up there. Okay. I'm gonna have to run stone up that corner. Um, and then we have the little like entry point over here. I think we'll put some more chests in there and you can come up to the top. We got a bed, you got full views going out. I, th I love it. It's, it's good. It's some good stuff. But yeah, all of this, pretty much the entire upper level, I, I started just taking out the roof, like, brick by brick to be able to create the space to the second floor. <clears throat> and I like it. I, I think it's fun. And then, <clears throat> I don't think we're going to live here for a whole long time, so I think it's just kind of a fun little starter house. See where it is. Where's the campfire outside? It broke. It broke after, like, campfires apparently time out and just turn into charcoal after a while. 
So yeah, we got that in there. That's a blacksmith's home and we're all just huddled up upstairs sleeping in the bed when we need to. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it. It's cool. And then I also did a little material gathering just for us to have a little buff next time. So I got uh, the full next set of gear and I made the shield. But outside of that, I haven't done anything. I like haven't got any experience. I made sure I wasn't getting ahead of the group. I just wanted to like decorate. And you're no longer naked. I know it's amazing. Who would have thought? But yeah, so that's been that. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to wrap up the stream now. I'm going to go grab some lunch and all that cool stuff. So thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of your Wednesday. Take it easy. Go do all that cool stuff. We'll probably be live again on Friday. Unfortunately, no video this week. There's a new short coming out tomorrow. It's actually a how to build short. Um, I really hope you all enjoy that. Take a look at them and everything like that. I very much do appreciate the love on all the shorts recently. I'm trying to experiment with that side. So if you do enjoy them, please be sure to let me know and we'll see how much longer they stick around for. But yeah, just fun little videos of like random ideas that I've been thinking about and haven't. And then I, but like I can't turn it into a full video or it doesn't make sense. But I'm like, I could turn it into like a 30 second video. So yeah, there's that. Not a redstone short. No, unfortunately not. But that's going to do it today. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. I do appreciate it. Y'all have a lovely rest of the day again. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.